Was I talking to you? Are you talking to me? Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video we're going to talk about Venn diagrams. In case you're not familiar with Venn diagrams, they're pretty simple diagrams. I'll teach you how to interpret data from them, how to read data from the Venn diagram, and answer questions that you might find on the SAT or ACT tests. Now you'll seldom see Venn diagrams used in industry. I very rarely see that. More common in, in industrial uses are bar charts, line graphs, and maybe pie charts, but certainly not Venn diagrams. I almost never see those used in industry, but for some reason they're very popular on the ACT and SAT, these standardized tests. So it's important as a student to understand Venn diagrams and how to interpret them. So I'll assume you don't know anything about Venn diagrams. They're pretty simple. It'll be pretty easy for me to explain this. So a Venn diagram consists of circles. And inside the circle, there are numbers that represent the population that occupies that space. So let's explain this. Uh, we have a yellow circle here, which represents dog owners in this diagram. And then we have a white circle that represents the cat owners. So let me make this white circle. I'll outline this in blue for you. So this is the cat owners. Everybody inside that circle is a cat owner. Everybody inside this yellow circle is a dog owner. So you see there's some overlap between those two circles. This area is the overlap. In other words, these people are inside both the cat owner's and the dog owner's circle, so they own both a cat and a dog. And the number of people in that group is 20. So the dog owner's circle has this 12 here, which represents people who only own a dog. And the cat owner's circle has a 16 here that represents people who only own a cat. So how many people own cats? Well. 20 people own both a dog and a cat. So those are considered cat owners. They're inside the cat owner's circle, aren't they? And so are these 16 people who do not own dogs, but they still own cats. So to find the number of people who own a cat, we just add the 20 and the 16, because those are the two numbers that are inside this cat owner's circle. 20 plus 16. So here we get 36. We didn't count the 12 because those people are not inside the cat owner's circle. Those 12 people are outside of this circle, aren't they? Okay, same Venn diagram, different question. What percent of people are dog owners? Let's see, dog owners, um, we have these 12 people who are dog owners, and these 20 are also dog owners, right? Because this dog owner circle is the whole yellow space. These 20 people own dogs. So to get the total number of dog owners, we do 12 plus 20. And then if we want to express this as a percent, the total number of people is equal to 12 plus 20 plus 16. So that's the total number of people in this diagram. What percent of people are dog owners? Let's see, we can add these up. We're gonna get 32 here. And what do we get over here? 48. And since the top and bottom are both divisible by 16, if we divide the top by 16, we get two. And we divide the bottom by 16, we get three. That's two thirds. And if we express this as a percent, we're going to get 66.7%. So that's our answer. 66.7% are dog owners. Now we have three circles. And our question is, how many people do not love broccoli? Well, let's see. People who love broccoli is this circle here. So we're looking for people who do not love broccoli. And are we looking for a percent or a count? It says how many people. So it's just a count. We do not need to find a percent. So people outside of this circle do not love broccoli. So we have what? A 41, a 7, and a 12. Those people are outside of the broccoli lover's circle. So let's just add those up. So let's see, people equals 
um, 41 plus 7 plus 12. And let's see, when we add those up, we get 53 plus 7, 60. We get 60. So 60 people do not love broccoli. Okay, same diagram, different question. How many people who wear glasses own an iPhone? Well, people who have an iPhone and people who wear glasses. So we're looking for the number, the count of people, not a percentage, who wear glasses and own an iPhone. In other words, they're in both this circle and this circle. So it looks to me like the intersection of these two circles is these two numbers, the 7 and the 2, is the intersection of those two circles. So the iPhone circle is this gray one, and the people who wear glasses circle is this white circle. And the intersection is 7 plus 2. So that is equal to 9. Nine people both wear glasses and own an iPhone. Well, here's a new problem. How many people like shrimp but do not like crabs? Okay, so the shrimp lover circle is this circle here. And what they're asking us is how many people are inside of this circle but do not like crabs, but are not inside of the crab circle. So we're looking for people who are not inside this circle. Inside the blue, but outside the red. So that says uh, the three and the five, right? The three and the five. These people are people who like shrimp, but they do not like crabs. They're not inside of the crab circle, but they are inside of the shrimp circle. So three plus five equals eight. So our answer here is 8. And our last problem, what percent of crab eaters are also lobster eaters? So let's see, what percent of crab eaters? If we're looking for a percent of crab eaters, first of all, we're talking about this blue circle, are the crab eaters. What percent of those people, and since we're going to take a percent of these crab eaters, that's going to be our denominator here. So the sum of crab eaters, right? 7 plus 3, our denominator is going to be 7 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. It's going to be our denominator. What percent of crab eaters are also lobster eaters? So our numerator is going to be the people who like both. So like both crab and lobster. This is the lobster circle. This is the crab circle. So the intersection of those two circles is here, this little football right here. So it's 1 and 3, like both crab and lobster. So 1, 1 plus 3, like both crab and lobster. So what percent of crab eaters? Well, there are 13 crab eaters, and there are four people who like both. So 4 over 13. And when we divide that out, we get 30.1%. So that's our answer for this one. He's pretty much the smartest man on the planet. You might want to listen to him. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.